Have you ever run a command in your terminal only to be bombarded with error messages? It can be really frustrating, right? If you've encountered the no such file or directory error while using grep, you're in the right place. Today, we're going to break down why this happens and how to fix it. I totally get it. You're trying to search through your markdown files and instead of the results you want, you get a slew of error messages. This is a common issue that many users face when working with grep and find. Let's dive into the specifics. One user recently asked, why does grep print out no such file or directory? They were using the command find.name asterisk.md exarpip interpretation and got the results they needed, but also faced multiple error messages. Sound familiar? Let's explore this together. So, what's going on here? The error messages you're seeing usually indicate that grep is trying to search through files that don't exist. This can happen if the find command returns empty results or if there are files with names that grep can't access. And stick around. I'll share a quick tip at the end that will help you avoid these errors in the future. To address the issue of receiving no such file or directory errors, the user should first understand that this happens when grep attempts to read files that do not exist or are inaccessible. Next, the user can modify the command to handle errors more gracefully. This can be done by adding a check to ensure that only valid files are passed to grep. Additionally, the user can redirect error messages to avoid cluttering the terminal output. This can be achieved by appending a redirection to the command. Finally, the user should test the modified command to ensure it works as expected without generating unnecessary error messages. Fun fact, the grep command is named after a command used in the Unix text editor ed. It stands for Global Regular Expression Print. So next time you use grep, you can impress your friends with that tidbit. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. One alternative solution involves using the mice s option with grep to suppress error messages. However, the user realized that the real issue was spaces in the file names. The correct command uses print0 with find and natish0 with zargs to handle these spaces properly. Additionally, another user suggested using the exec option directly with find, which eliminates the need for zargs altogether. This command searches for files and executes grep on them in one step. Here's a pro tip. Always check your commands step by step. This way, you can catch any errors early on and avoid the frustration of those pesky error messages. And there you have it. Now you know why grep might print no such file or directory and how to troubleshoot it. If you found this video helpful, please hit the subscribe button for more tips. And don't forget to check out our other videos for more tech solutions.